Okay, in this video, let's take a look at Abraham Answers golf swing. Really cool golf swing, different. And statistically, he's not that consistent of a player. Certainly had a great Masters, and his stats there were amazing. Uh, greens and regulation, fairways hit, putting stats. It was all good, uh, as you can imagine, having a high finish at the Masters. But statistically, he does struggle to be you know, really consistent when it comes to ball striking. Let's take a look and see why that might be. First with an iron shot here. Great setup. He makes a little bit of an old school sort of kick in with a with the right knee there and the settles in. Kicks the right knee in and gets going back. Takes it back. Very much in one piece face. A little blurry here, but certainly it's totally square going back. It's not rotating it whatsoever. And doesn't put a lot of rotation into it. Has a little forward lean down toward the ball. We've seen from a lot of players and very upright. As high up as Justin Thomas basically as he gets up to the top. Dead flat left wrist on that upper plane that we can draw from the ball across the top of the shoulders. So certainly higher up when he gets to the top and then making an interesting move when he comes down. It looks as though he's coming over the top, but in reality, he's still underneath the plane where he was at the top and really lays the shaft back. So he shallows it out, very interesting move as he brings the hands forward and twists the shaft backwards and gets wide open and much lower. But he does play out in the outer plane, which is very interesting. He gets the wrist flat. We'll see another video too, the left wrist totally flat. As he comes in, he gets wide open. But it is interesting and it's a little tougher to be consistent on the outer plane than it is on this inner plane if the club's tracking here like we've seen some other players do in some of the videos. But wow, when he gets it going, he is really going, and it doesn't flip too much. And I just can imagine that statistically, it's a little harder to get that outer plane coordinated with the release on a regular basis. Even the driver here up at the top gets up to a good full wind-up position. Left arm on the upper shoulder plane. And gets a long swing there, really gets it wound up. And like you said, it starts to create an over tight move with the hands. But as he does that, he's twisting the club head back around behind him going this direction. Which he's doing by sitting and turning, no question. Sitting and turning, left arm is totally across the shoulder there. There's no pulling of the arms whatsoever. And from here on down, he is turning way out of the way. So amazing ability to rotate out. And there's the front arm staying on the plane, on that front shoulder line, clearing like crazy. And the weeks, like I said, he gets things going his way. This left wrist is bowed and into perfect position at impact, giving him a lot of face control. We'll see on a wedge in a second how much face control he gets when he's playing well. And then on some other days, maybe he just doesn't have that control. Timing's off, rhythm's off. Cool swing to watch, and I hope we get to see him more and more on the, uh, cal the telecasts in future tournaments. Okay, let's take a look at the wedge shot here. Uh, wide open stance, ball back in the stance. That creates more of an inside out type of swing when the pin, you know, pin is over there. His feet are way out to the left, and with feet that open, you have to put the ball back and swing out to the right. That creates a shallower downswing, which he needs because he gets that thing so upright. So it takes it back, drops like we see a lot of players do. We can see that lowering motion. Takes it in on the inner plane and then takes it up to that upper plane. Makes that little reroute and then still stays inside the other plane just enough. But with the wedges, it's very interesting. He's very grounded. He's rotating open. And this thing will disappear left with the hands tracking left without any rotation whatsoever. So he gets the hips and shoulders open, really bringing the club to the ball with the turning of his body. And clearly we can see the bow there. And normally with some of the other shots, if he's having trouble, You'll see the grip at this point here, and then the club will release around the corner. Gives him a little more uh, trouble with controlling the ball, but in this one here, the, the grip is still basically ahead of the club head 
way around the corner. Grip is long gone, and we can see the shaft is still out there, so this is a great way to control the golf ball. And this shot was in there about three feet. Very, very interesting golf swing. And lastly, let's look at one more swing here from the President's Cup. A little bit of a different angle, but it's cool to see when he gets it going, how well he controls that club through the, the bottom of the zone. So it takes it back. Good way to play golf. A lot of players doing it these days. There's no rotation there with the club face whatsoever. Staying completely square. Then he lifts it up higher than most players, but does not compromise that perfect position. If you're struggling with your control, if you can get your wrist flatter or slightly bowed, it does help you control the, the club rather through the impact zone. Super vertical as he starts this thing down. We know he's into the ground and rotating big time. He's got his normal classic position there. Hands forward, bowed down. And then from here, like we said, if he's doing well, we'll see even in the next frame when we watch where the grip is, does it disappear left? And we can still see a little of the club and indeed it does. And we can see that club out here, which means the club face is in total control as he goes through. And he played very well at the President's Cup. We can see why he had to swing really grooving that week. Okay, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video of Abraham Answer, and we'll see how he does in the next Masters. Now, he's getting used to being on the world stage, clearly gaining confidence as the years go by. With that sort of Justin Thomas look. Different downswing, however. Much more rotational and grounded. And with, like I said, those arms working that far away from his body, the hands that far away, hard to control it every week, but he's certainly learning how to do it and at major championships as well. If it's your first time to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. And if you like the video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.